This is the TM Master Cup Series, here for race 5 of 19 in the New York Auto Ring. The Clutch Pole Award goes to Tony Durbin in the 33 car for the second time this season. Durbin and teammate Damian Snyder swept the front row. Eric Jackson's Lennard started in third. Manny Brown, whose SAR started in fourth, quickly shot up the middle and pushed Snyder to the outside. However, Jackson's Lennard would have the better line and he would go up to second. Johnny Aiden, the number 04 uh, Pennzoil Lennard you see back there, the yellow car, was up there to challenge Tony Durbin in the early stages of the race. Ada having clocked in some of the fastest laps early on in the going. Scott Bates is in a red car in the middle line you see there. Colin Evans you see going to the inside and behind him is Cyrus Laterza. Ada eventually goes for the lead with help from Laterza's Inglesby and then Joel Rodriguez in the number 86 car sponsored by Heineken and Mike Whitmore's car. Whitmore in the 73 car then goes around Joel Rodriguez after he takes the lead proving that lead changes occur early and often here at the New York Auto Ring. The fastest car on the racetrack so far was Chris Johans in the number 12 car. You see third car on the inside line. It's a blue car. Johans was the only car that could dislodge Mike Whitmore from the lead after Whitmore, the winner in Brands Hatch last week, led four or five laps. The number 12 car shoots the inside and takes the lead without a problem. Justin Brooks in the 31 car then sneaks up on the inside of Johans, carrying Tom Delgado and Kurt Walker with him along with James Dalton and Double Zero. Tom Delgado you see there, Kurt Walker in the lead, James Dalton in second, and the two Flair Motorsports cars of Curtis Darcy and Rachel Rainsford on the inside. You see on the bottom of the screen, that is the hood of Chris Johans' uh, number 12 car. Uh, Darcy goes to the bottom, Rachel Rainsford has to go up to the middle, and you're going to see sneaking into the picture is Stephanie McGlynn in the number 6. Darcy goes for the lead with help from McGlynn in the 6 car, Marcus Leonard and Lauren Roth. That black car in the center of the screen is James West making his TM Master Cup Series debut for McDermott Motorsports. And you look at the show he's putting on, going three wide, showing he can run with the big boys early on in the going. First caution on lap nine. This will be a big one. It's contacting Johnny Aiden. Stuart Sandoval triggers a massive wreck, about 25 cars involved. However, it stretches the entire backstretch. You see Marcus Leonard going for a ride. You see Damian Snyder goes for a wild ride, Stephanie McGlynn, Ross Peterson involved, Kurt Walker, Palmer Styles, the 34, several other cars involved, an aerial view of the incident. There's some heavy contact on the inside, Laterza and Taylor, Bates involved, Ryan Naraki, Todd Wodarczyk, Tony Durbin, Colin Evans, Scott Stoiler, Gary Edwards, Rachel Rainsford, Eric Jackson, Brooks, Morrell, Roswell. And Lewis Kingston as well, also involved in this incident. You see Matt Taylor and Cyrus Laterra's had some very heavy contact at the start of this one. Taylor the 44. There's Laterra's of the brown car. Just touches the 44 and a huge impact into the inside wall at about 170, 180 miles an hour. Let's have a, see, let's have a look and see how Chris Johans gets through this. Former Arla champion Johans. Riding behind Tom Delgado, an excellent job by Chris Johans in the number 12 car. He's able to get through this wreck without too much of a problem, but there's more wrecking in front of him. You see John Broughton on his roof. And Chris Johans, excellent driving, gets through this one without a problem. Marcus Leonard takes a wild ride. There's Damian Snyder in the 11, and then Stephanie McGlynn goes over. Several cars would go to the garage. Roughly half the field was out of the race. Here's where the initial contact was. Stuart Sandoval and Johnny Ada. And it looks like Sandoval just gets into the 04, triggering this massive catastrophe on the backstretch. Joseph Howard involved. Julian Asova, the orange car. Scott Bates rolls his car again. Second time this season, Scott Bates has flipped over his race cars. There goes with our chicken Whitmore. Tony Durbin. There goes Gary Edwards and Nosova and Laterza. There's another traffic jam. And Scott Bates showing that even when he flips cars over, he drives them away. Alan Hodge, the 13 car, also involved. These six cars were in front of the wreck. Danny Savin, Alexis Rainsford, Leonid Roderick, Lauren Roth, James West, and Anthony Evans. Those cars were unscathed after the incident, include Tom Delgado, Chris Johans and James Dalton to this list as well, along with Joel Rodriguez. Rainsford led in the restart with Danny Savin in second, Roderick in third, Lauren Roth and James Dalton. 
You're going to see the 91 car take the lead without a problem. Leonid Roderick follows suit. Do you see Joel Rodriguez, Chris Johans, James West, and Tom Delgado following? Dale Roswell, who was running in 10th, had a little bit of damage, but it was still not enough to keep him too far off the pace. And see you, James Dalton fought for 10th. Leonard Roderick lost the lead to Anthony Evans, proving that up in the front of the field there were still lots of battling for position. Tom Delgado is one of the two hometown boys in the front pack, Danny Savin being the other. You see the front nine cars, they're looking from Chris Johans, that's Danny Savin, the 91 is also from New York. Leonard Roderick pulled away from the field, but every time one car was able to break away, everyone was able to catch up. Danny Savin easily taking the lead back from Roderick, you see there. Johans goes with him. Car number 12, the fastest of the cars in this group. Joel Rodriguez in third, Anthony Evans in fourth, but as you saw just a second ago, back markers would, would be one of the problems of the day as they were in Daytona. The slow cars would be getting in the way of the faster cars and break up the packs. You see uh, Lewis Kingston, Palmer Styles, and Rachel Rainsford being the three culprits this time. Kingston, the 84, tried to get out of the way. And the back workers try not to cause as much of a disturbance as they did in Daytona, but um, with the way racing goes here at these restricted play tracks, it's just inevitable. Johans pulls away with Delgado in second place, Roth in third. A debris caution on lap 38, however, saved most of those cars, and Johans was able to pull away with a restart. However, the, in the lap cars on the inside would be a nightmare for some other cars to get by, Alexis Rainsford and Anthony Evans being trapped behind them. You see there? Colin Evans in the 30 is brought back up with this group. You see Alexis having fits with her older sister Rachel in front of her. That is Palmer Styles, two cars ahead of him. Lewis Kingston pulls down on the inside, hopefully allowing cars to go by on the outside. However, he doesn't realize that Scott Stoiler also is damaged, meaning that they're just holding up even more cars than before. Kingston, the 84, received a warning from the officials. However, Palmer Styles and Rachel Rainsford are both called to the hauler because of their impeding. The, you can barely see in the distance, in fact, I don't think you can see it at all, but you can barely see the cars that are falling off the pace because of the lap cars. Alexis Rainsford and Anthony Evans are fighting for 9th and 10th, Dale Roswell also fighting for position in the 19. This is the front of the field. These front cars will be duking it out for the win as we look from Tom Delgado, who's at the rear of the pack at the moment, appears to be losing it. Lauren Roth and James West would battle for the lead in the closing laps of the event. James West in the 69 car had never won a race in Arla after 11 years of trying in that series. In fact, that team he's driving for has never won a TM Master Cup Series race despite having competed on and off ever since the 1980s. Palmer Styles in the 34 car would once again be an obstacle for the leaders to avoid. However, Styles was gracious, moved over to the high lane, and let everyone pass in the inside. James West, the 69, blasts through. Chris Johans makes the mistake of trying to draft him. Then goes Joel Rodriguez, Tom Delgado, Danny Savin, Leonid Roderick. However, it would be very apparent that it would be a one-lap chase for Joel Rodriguez in the 86 car, who has never won a Master Cup Series race, to chase down James West, who's making his first start in the TM Master Cup Series. The 86 car would be faster than James West, number 69. Coming into the back stretch, West is in the lead, Rodriguez behind him. James West, with a masterful move, throws the block on Rodriguez. And coming off the final turn of the race, James West is leading Joel Rodriguez, Danny Savin, Leonid Roderick. They all pull to the inside, but no! It's going to be the upset of the century as James West wins in his first ever TM Master Cup Series race. The biggest upset of the century, James West, in an underfunded operation, takes the win after a massive wreck, takes out over half his competitors, and for the first time in his racing career, James West shows off victory burnouts. Joel Rodriguez second, Danny Savin, Leonid Roderick, Tom Delgado. Excellent job by the 67 team. James West, though, the upset of the century. Chris Johans in sixth, best career finish for him. Lauren Roth, Anthony Evans, James Dalton, best finish of this season. Dalton has had a miserable year so far in 2008, and it's about time he turned things around. And then Alexis Rainsford, ever smooth, ever so consistent, puts that car in the top 10. And here's the top 10 in points. Leonid Roderick leads with Kurt Walker in second, only four marks behind. Alexis Rainsford jumps up to third. Joel Rodriguez in fourth. Tony Durbin drops down to fifth after being involved in the big accident. Johnny Ada in sixth. Sam Morell in the 66 car in seventh. Tied with Johnny Ada, I might add. 
Palmer Styles, Damian Snyder, and then Manny Brown in the number 22 car rounds out the top 10 in points. And here's 11 through 20. Colin Evans in the number 30 car is in 11th. Danny Savin, after a top five, goes up to 12th. Gary Edwards drops a spot. Anthony Evans keeping pace with his son Colin. Scott Stoiler goes up a spot. Mike Whitmore in the 73 car. Then Lauren Roth. Dan Klesel drops down a few spots. Stuart Sandoval drops a few more. And then Alan Hodges, who is tied with Stuart Sandoval, rounds out the top 20 in points. That's all for this week in the TM Master Cup Series. I'll see you next time.